Dating is easy. Don't complicate it. I'm talking from a position of experience. I've lived it and I've learned a lot of things over the years after divorce. So what I've realized is that people complicate things. They have this, they have something in their head, which is not practical, which is not what it is. Okay. You need to understand that dating is getting to know someone with the intention of going in a romantic relationship with. So you're just studying each other. There is no contract. So you don't have to say when you go out with someone or if they buy you something nice, you just feel like, I think they like you. And then you drop everything and then you're focusing on them. That's wrong. That is so wrong, right? You just have to continue living your life until the guy obviously is the one who moves the relationship forward. He decides to become exclusive. If there is no exclusivity chart, there is no reason to stop talking, to stop dating other guys. This video is not edited. I'm just talking from the heart and sharing my experience. I'm not going to edit it. Okay. So you continue dating. You continue seeing other guys or other ladies. You don't owe anyone anything, but you owe them communication. You need to tell them what you feel, where you think you're going. I know, and I know that the people who are not very good at communicating, they will just ghost you. Fine. They, they decided to do that immature way of just ending their friendship that you've just um, started. That's fine. You continue living your life. You continue doing what you love doing and never um, call them and ask them to say, oh, why are you not calling me? Where have you been? I've been waiting for you. I was waiting for your call. Never do that. All right? You never do it. They've disappeared on the radar. Fine. They've gone. They're not interested. That's what it is. You keep on dating people. There's one important thing. You need to learn to go out on your own, solo dates. Learn to treat yourself to things that are beautiful, nice holidays, nice fine dining, air, fine dining areas. So that when a guy takes you to a very nice place, you don't feel like, I think he likes me because he took me to a, to a very expensive hotel. No, this guy has worked so hard and his standards are that high. Yours are low. That's why you feel if this guy takes you out to a very expensive uh, hotel, you feel he owes you anything. You feel he has done something that has never happened to you. I'm sure he loves you. No, no. It's you who has got very low standards. But otherwise, that's the level that, that he is in. That does not mean anything. All right? And you see that from my experience, from my clients. When they go to such places, guys feel it. They know that this girl is actually panicking. She's not used to this lifestyle. So they take advantage of you. They take advantage of you. They will say, come here, you run. Because you, they've, they've introduced you to a life that you're not used to. That, that you think is high life. Because you haven't been able to provide yourself that kind of a life. So, guys, this earring is causing problems. I'm going to put it aside. Okay. Oh, it's broken. That's why. Okay. So, as I told you, I'm not going to edit anything from this video. So, um... You know, learn to treat yourself to nice things so that no one will come and present nice things to you and then you panic. You feel like, oh my God, this guy loves me. I think he loves me because he's bought me a very expensive perfume and they start abusing you because you love things, but you 